Welcome to Nicewear International's Label Design Training. In Nice Label Pro, you will learn how to create a label template for your custom applications. After watching this video, you can start developing labels on your own with text fields, database connections, barcodes, graphics, and more. A Nice Label Pro serves as the main label design application for printing labels. Let's dive into the label design. You'll notice on the right hand side I have already created a label. This is one that we will be recreating. On the left hand side we have a blank label. When you first get into Nice Label Pro and you open your label, it's important that you check the label settings. You can go to File, Label Setup to make sure that you have the correct dimensions as well as the printer selected. I'm going to be connecting to a zebra, which can be found here. You also can take a look at the paper stock, the batch printing, cutter settings, put a background picture into the label setup. The other thing that's important to me is the dimensions. I have a 4x6 label, so I want to make sure that I have the correct dimensions. And if you wanted to add a margin or a radius or change the labels across, you're able to do so in the label setup. Now that the label is set up correctly, we're going to start designing. You'll notice on the left hand side that we have a toolbar. The first thing we're going to do is click on the text object and drop it on the label. I'm going to type in nice company. Now you notice this is not the same size as the other one and there's a few ways that we can change the font size. We can grab the size of the text box and drag it to increase the size. You also notice at the top we can change the font size or we can double click on the text box to bring up the properties and we can change it in here. In the style you'll notice that we can select the font as well as the size. Now that's a little bit closer. We also want to make sure we have this on a diagonal. So I'm going to double click on the text box again. And if you go into appearance, you'll notice rotation. You can either enter in the number that you would like, or you can use this. And here I have my nice company. I still think it should be a little bit bigger, so we're going to use the arrow. Great. Now underneath this we do have a line, so a line can be done right here. You can either do a diagonal line or a normal line. And you can drag across. You'll notice you can also do the thickness if you wanted to have a thick line or a thin line. I'm going to double click on this. You can change the line style the dimensions, the thickness. I'm going to change the color. Great. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an ellipse. And you can drop it right on the label. Now you can drag it just like you're using any other program. And the other thing to note is that we want to make sure we put this behind it. So it looks like it's behind the word nice company. I'm going to right click Let's try that again. I'm going to select the ellipse, right click, go to arrange, and I'm going to go to the back. And now it looks like it's behind and through the line. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the product ID received and time print. So we're going to use more text boxes. Now you notice that these aren't lined up and you may have a tendency to grab each one and drag it so you try to align it correctly. There is an easier way to do that. Let's select all three of the text boxes and we'll go to the right hand side of the toolbar. 
Here, we can align it to the left, and then we can space it evenly vertically. That looks a lot better. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a picture. You'll notice we have the nice word logo on the right. We can click on the toolbar and we're going to add a fixed picture. We also have clip art for commonly used things. Now, right now, you'll see it is outlined by red, which means that it is bigger than the label. You can leave it that way, or you can drag it and resize it so it fits the right size on the label template. So we have our logo. Great. Now we want to make sure that for the received and the time of print that we are using the text box. But we can use uh, keyboard input, a counter, the time field, or the date field. So we're going to use the date field for received and it'll walk us through a wizard. We can choose the format and you also could offset it if you like. You can add a prefix or a suffix. And then we can hit finish and I'm able to drop it right on the label. Now we want to add the time of print. So we're going to go right into the text box and we're going to use the time field. We can change the format. or offset it if we like. And there's also the option of a prefix or a suffix. So now that I've gone through the wizard, I can drop it on. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to a database. Now there's a couple ways of doing it, but I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways in a wizard. Notice at the top it says database. So I'm going to use the drop-down and create a database connection. I want to do a direct database access, and I need to browse for the table. And after I connect, it's asking for the table name. Ours is named Nice Company. Then we'll click Next. We have the option of selecting the fields that we would like to send over. I'm going to send all of them over. And then you can select what records you want to print, and the label quantity information. Last but not least, you can have a text object for each field or you can link it yourself. I'm going to link the fields myself. And now that we're finished, we have a database connection. At the top, we have the product ID. And next to it will be a text field where we link to the database. Now we click on the fixed text and we go to use existing variable. And over here is where we have a database connection. I'm going to connect to nicecompany.id. And it's just like the text box, you can drop it on. Now once again, I want to align these text boxes so we look nice and neat and they're aligned together. I'm going to use a, a right align and then we want to space them vertically the same. And because they're still all selected, I can move them over to the spot that I would like and say I just want to reselect these and go to the left or to the center. It's pretty easy. Now this text box is a rich text box. And we want to use an existing variable so we can have the description. And we can drop it right here. I'm going to double click on it. We have the ability to change the font just like the other text boxes. So I'm going to change to make this bold, size 11. And I'd also like the color to be red.
Now one of the advantages of using a rich text box is that you are able to change each word, each thing that you put in the text box to be a different color, different font size, a different font, which in the normal text box you're not able to do. Now the other thing is on a detailed tab, we can use a best fit. We can fit by size or we can fit by font scaling. Now I'm going to say the size is 4 to 28, just so the text box will be based on what is included inside. We're almost done here. The next thing we're going to do is a barcode. We're going to use the existing variable for UPC. I'm going to drop it in. So you notice this is red, that means that not all of it is able to fit or it's not all on the label. So I'm going to move it over and then it goes to black. Now if you double click on the barcode, you'll notice that there's a couple things that we want to change. If we click on the barcode tab, we can change the barcode type. I'd like it to be a UPC the UPC A. You can change the color. I'm all about changing the color, especially if it matches your company's branding. And we're going to define it. When we define it, a couple things that we can change is the symbol height, the narrow bar width, or the ratio. You can include a check digit and you can have an interpretation below the barcode or no interpretation if you like. So now that we have adjusted our, our barcode, we have a UPC A. The last things we're going to do is we're going to include the activate by and the date stamp. So we're going to include a fixed text box. And this is going to drive me crazy. Let's align these to the left. Just nice and easy. And then we're going to use one more text box, but this time it's going to be a date field. And the wizard's going to pop up. It's going to ask me for the format. can leave the format, but I'm going to offset the date. I'm going to have it by 30 days. So it automatically will jump to 30 days. I can drop it on the label. I'm going to align these three here. Since they're all selected, you can move them over. Thank you for joining us. Contact our sales team with questions on label design, custom applications, and to schedule a training session for your team. You can also visit NiceWareintl.com. You can call us at 262-784-2456. You can send us an email at sales at NiceWareintl.com, or you can find us on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is NiceWare. The first four people to send us an email at sales at nicewareintl.com will get a $10 gift card to Starbucks. Mention this offer.